Hi, this is Nikki Fit by Heartstrong Fit, and I am going to be talking about Arctic Zero ice cream today, or ice cream replacement. It's in a container that looks like this. It's called Arctic Zero. Oh, and this is Gia. Say hi, Gia. So, um, this has been kind of getting a big deal about um, bodybuilders and their the way they eat and what they eat post-workout. Just so you know, a lot of people want to eat a lot of carbs post-workout because your body is naturally insulin, insulin sensitive. So you want to, after you work out, you always want to have some carbs. Well, a lot of people lately have been saying, oh my gosh, I ate an entire tub of this Arctic Zero and it's amazing. It's only 150 calories. It's gluten-free, lactose-free, um, and just fat-free altogether. Supposedly amazingness in a pint. So I got some and they sell it in the regular health food section of the store. Uh, I got the cookies and cream, and I did not eat the entire pint. It wasn't that good. Um, I am lactose intolerant, and let me tell you, as time we were done eating this, my stomach hurt. Then I noticed on the side of the ingredients section, it says there's a little like aftermarket sticker that has been put on there. And you can see that it was ingredients list that's not actually in their normal packaging. The normal packaging doesn't talk about milk or, or anything, and this one says contains milk. So, um, looks like they got in trouble with their packaging and they had to redo it. So, it is four servings with 37 calories per serving if you only eat one serving. That's pretty awesome. The cookies and cream flavor was, it was all right. It was more chocolatey. Uh, it's just like a light chocolate rather than cookies and cream. There were no actual cookies in there. Um, and but you can enjoy it if you're really an ice cream fiend and you've got to have the ice cream you can do it it's not creamy it's made out of whey protein so the entire container has 14 grams of protein if um you want to eat the entire thing you do get 14 grams of protein so it's not the best i do have to say there is no artificial sugar it's sweetened with uh, cane, organic cane sugar and chicory root, um, cocoa powder, which is good because a lot of these fitness things like protein powders and stuff, they all have some sort of sucrose or, you know, fake sugar in there that leaves nasty flavor and it's just not good for you. This actually doesn't have it and I was really surprised. I thought that there was going to be some artificial sweeteners in there. There's not. So it's not that bad. So you really... If, if, if lactose and milk, other products, milk, other like proteins and milk don't hurt your Mama, stomach, then go for it. Mama, show me your granola bar. This is our favorite about time granola bar, always in there. Um, but anyways, this is it. It's about $5 in the grocery store, 150 calories for the entire pint. I don't know. Hey. Hurt my stomach. Maybe I should try another hey. flavor. Uh, the flavor was, was all right. It, it could be better. But in a pinch, I would do it. All right, if you have any questions or if you have your own comments about Arctic Zero, let me know. Let me know what flavors you've tried. I'll go try them, see if they're any better than this. I have to say, I don't like chocolate, so that might be an, an issue right there. But I'm always willing to try new things. If it's not artificial, I'm all for it. All right, have a good day. The one thing that I didn't mention or didn't read uh, before I start eating it, was that you're supposed to take it out. It says right on the container, take it out five to ten minutes before you want to eat. I took it out of the freezer and was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to eat this? I always eat ice cream with a fork anyways, and this needed a fork and a chisel. So follow the instructions, and it, it will be um, it will be exactly as, as it's meant to be, nice and soft. 